sending your son to earth as a baby so many years ago. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you that he paid the punishment for my sins by dying on the cross. And thank you that he rose again to prove that death was truly defeated. I place my trust in you to be my Savior. Guide me through the dark times of my life and give me the courage to live with you. Amen. Amen. Jesus, the light of the world, as we celebrate your birth, may we begin to see the world in the light of understanding you give us. As you chose the lowly, the outcasts, and the poor to receive the greatest news the world had ever known, so may we worship you in meekness of heart. May we remember our brothers and sisters less fortunate than ourselves in this season of giving. Amen. 
Thank you, Lord, for the gift of your love. May I be a shining example of that love to others. And the church said, Amen. 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 Have a seat just for a moment. I just want to close with, uh, with a thought. And I, I think it's important for us to remember this. It's in, in the bulletin because as you think of yourself and you think of the changes that you would like to see in this world. Have you ever heard this said, be the change you want to see? Yes. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now listen to what I'm saying to you. Be the change that you want to see. And many times we're looking and there are so many people who will follow the unfaithful. Will follow the untrue. And many times it's because it might be a loved one. And we're so concerned about losing connection with that loved one. You might want to be concerned, and I'm not going to preach here, but I just want to interest you and in, in, or in, instruct you in something. You might want to be concerned more about losing not only your loved one, but losing the one that we should love. Many of us have. We've made vows. We call Jesus Lord, and he is Lord, but is he your Lord? Or has he been reduced to, I don't know, a Santa Claus? Um, there, <laughs> actually, there was a video, and I, I probably should play it, but, well, actually, we did it, we did it on midweek, where um, there was a manger scene, and the, and, and the neighbor came across the road, and he's got his house all decorated with Santa Claus, and lights, and everything else, and he didn't have a clue what Christmas was about. And so he went over and he's looking at this doll laying in the manger. And, and he says, so is, is this Jesus? And of course, this, this man, who's, his neighbor says, yeah, that's Jesus. So I suppose he grows up, right? Yeah. And he becomes Santa Claus. <laughs> no. <laughs> we, we have to be very careful. Because what we don't want to do is to instill in our children that there's something greater than Jesus. Because even the historic St. Nicholas, if you go look, reading, you'll find out that he, he gave to the poor. There are many things that he did. And there's a lot of things that, you know, we're just going to leave, leave those alone. But the idea is there's a mystery of all this, this season. There's, there's, a, there's a matter of fact, the Bible says there's a mystery to the gospel. It's a miracle. You can't explain it. You can't understand it. It seems like magic. And it is, in a sense, a magical season. And some of you, if you could just wrap your mind around this, remembering the kind of person that you were before Jesus. Now, it's really sad when people are going back to being the same old person they were after they came to know Jesus. And as this, a few months ago when we had the baptisms, you know, there were I have made mention that there are many people who got baptized in his name, but there are those who really were baptized and others just got wet. We can't use our prayers and we can't use the scripture. We can't use our prayers as some sort of an incantation. It, it, but there seems to be something magical about it when we use the word of God. But the idea is you, you need to become the change that you want to see. How many of you want to see your loved ones on the way to heaven and eventually you want to see them in heaven? Just to be clear, I'm not in any hurry. Yeah. <laughs> Amen? Amen? But I don't love this life more than the life that is to come. But what I do understand is that there's a responsibility that I have to let his light shine that others might see. What does your life look like? Yeah. Every time you get a, a, a body ache, a heart ache, or a butt ache, Next thing you know, you're not serving the Lord as you ought to. But we're encouraged in the scriptures that we should be as good soldiers. Did you know that a soldier endures hardship? Here's something else that a soldier does. And is he submits himself to those who are over him. Amen? Even when the commander gives him an order that doesn't seem to make sense, he will obey those orders. Somebody say amen. So going back to the idea here in our closing thoughts for this morning, think about the changes that you would like to see in this world and, uh, and you're bringing your hopes and your dreams.